this talk is by david shaw and yanan how and they'll talk about a scalable framework solution for real time ml feature in engineering at linkedin unfortunately they couldn't make it to the beam summit but we are gonna go through this talk uh, through a gvc yeah uh <clears throat> thanks uh thank everyone to attend the beam summit and for these presentations we will provide an introduction about and how LinkedIn powers uh, real-time machine learning, feature engineering, and with a near-line generation framework based on uh, ManageP. Uh, first, uh, let's introduce ourselves. I'm David. I'm machine learning infrastructure engineer from the feature generation team, and our team powers machine learning, feature engineering, and linking via near line and offline feature generation framework. So my name is Yana, and uh, I'm uh, from the stream processing infra team at LinkedIn. Our team builds a managed stream processing platform uh, based on Beam, and I work closely with David uh, to build the managed Beam solutions and to support the feature generation use case at LinkedIn. Okay, uh, here is the agenda today. And uh, first, we will provide the motivation for uh, real-time feature engineering and linking. And secondly, we will introduce the whole life cycle for the real-time feature generation framework based on managed Beam and with the three stages and authoring and deployment and operation. So finally, the remaining time will be for Q&A. Uh, let's move to the first uh, se section and motivations. Mm -hmm. Uh, machine learning models are applied in uh, almost all the, the key products uh, like a job uh, recommendations and search feed and in linking and all of them are powered by uh, powered by uh, thousands of features about the entities like uh, companies and the job posting and the linking members and from uh, linking economic uh, uh, graph. And we can see, uh, next slide, we can see the current uh, linking economic graph. And uh, you can see the numbers of members, companies, and schools and skills. There are lots of features. Preparing and managing the features has been one of the most time consuming part of operating uh, machine learning applications and uh, skills. There is a growing demand for fresh real-time feature data and which are expected to have a significant business impact and by boosting machine learning models relevancy performance. However, there exists a gap and for the feature freshness requirement and the original offline generation framework, a delay between and uh, a delay between uh, actions and the data availability to the recommender system. And let's look at the gap uh, in details. And as we know, the any actions that uh, the members take when they visit LinkedIn can reveal and their current intent and uh, pref preference. And this information can be used uh, to better personalize their in-app experience. However, before and real-time generation framework based on managed beam. Our members didn't see much change in their recommendations and based on their recent actions, uh, because most of our recommendation systems relies on batch jobs and the URD run once a day on offline activity data from members. And this resulted in a 24 to 48 hours delay and between a member take action and when that action has impact and on the recommendation for the members. So this results in missed uh, opportunity. And so our missed opportunities are reflected in two main perspectives. And the members who visit rarely and the members who visit often. For members who visit rarely, their offline activity data is either too sparse or too far and in the past to accurately reflect their intent and the preference. There, this results in poor in personalizations in their rare sessions and their experience in those rare sessions can determine whether they continue using LinkedIn. And for members who visit often, their offline activity data can capture their long-term intent and preference and but cannot capture their short-term intent and the preference. 
and which can change across different sessions. And uh, we have seen that uh, there is a delay and resulted in missed opportunities. So we started and uh, to think about and uh, how to fill this gap. And uh, so building a scalable uh, real-time feature generation uh, platform was put on the roadmap for the feature engineering. The main stakeholders and for the feature generation and linking are AI engineers generally. And when a uh, raw uh, real-time application was rolled out to production, it had to be go through and the three state and uh, authoring uh, deployment and uh, operations. There are multiple technical uh, challenges for AI engineer. And they build, and when they build a, a scalable real-time feature generation application, AI engineers has limited um, uh, infra knowledge, and they have to integrate a lot of streaming tools and the infrastructures in the framework, uh, including the Kafka, Samza, or Beam, and the Kubernetes stores like uh, Venice. And they already had to write thousands of lines of code and development cycles for them and the cost of one to two months. And after the application deployment and AI engineers has, have to configure the operational metrics for monitoring. So an effective uh, real-time framework with a user-friendly interface is required to scale and the, de the deployment deployment and the operation of real-time features with high productivity. Based on the above uh, pay points and for AI engineers, we propose a hosted platform and the real-time feature generation framework based on Manager Beam and to provide the efficient feature generation also in experience and scalable uh, streaming infra to handle deployment and the operation and the runtime. Here is a high level architectures for the real time feature generation framework on Manager Beam. And we would like to give our AI engineers an easy way to quickly create real time features. On the right side, uh, right hand side, you can see AI engineers create a feature definition and it is then built and deployed and run a Manager Beam platform with various design transformation steps. On the left, hand side, you can see when a member takes actions and event is emitted to Kafka. The actions is then processed by the manager beam platform job and re re returned uh, to a feature store. And when, then when uh, members land, landed and on a page then it contains a recommendation module, the data from the feature store uh, may be read and further processed and then used in the recommendation system. The end-to-end -end latencies uh, between when a member takes an actions and when it's available in a recommender is just a few seconds. Let's see how AI engineers' journeys looks like when they build a real-time application via real-time feature generation framework based on link uh, manager beam. Let's uh, let's see the first stage of authoring. Uh, when when we design the authoring layers, and we are following uh, the following uh, principles, and and we aim to make the pipeline authoring productive and user friendly. And here are two principles, and we are following. And the first one is to make pipeline steps and the canned component, and a canned component is a pre-built and a pre-tested module. It's and provide a specific uh, functionalities and can be easily. Uh, integrated to a pipeline workflow. It is a modular abstractions and uh, collections of beam implementation and the integration. Uh, it is easy to use for users and can be uh, also can be used as uh, customizable uh, user defined logics. And the second one is a uh, pipeline workflow should be use case driven and the users uh, could assemble uh, the kind of component in a particular way to best accomplish a particular use case. There should be the higher level and interface where engineers can easily get started with, with a specific use case. Also, the workflow should be customizable DAC and to simplify complex DAC style. Here is a kind of component we provided for different categories of pipeline steps importation steps and the intermediate transformation step and exportation step. 
they are all modular abstractions and collections or implementations and the integration. Easy to use for users and could be customizable for user-defined logics. And for the importation steps, and users can import streams from different uh, sources and directly from Comcast or streaming change from database like Oracle's and NoSQL database and where a stream converter broken. And for the intermediate uh, transformation steps, and we provide the field level and the row level operations like projection, filtering, and flatten and window operations. And field levels and the row levels operations are both uh, are both uh, achieved by the customizable UDFs. And besides those and the fields intending operations like stream to table drawings and stream to streams drawings and external feature fetching are also supported. And to generate uh, effective uh, embedding features and and um, like uh, and models inference kind of component is provided in both local and remote inference environment. For exportation steps, and we provide flexibility for user to write generated uh, features and to different data sync, including the, the online analyticals uh, processing, data stores, key value, online stores, Kafka, uh, all, all the index cluster for searching. Yeah, so for this, this uh, we also provide user-driven stack workflow styles and for users to assemble different kind of component in particular way in order to best uh, accomplish a particular use case. And for example, uh, for the single uh, resource, uh, uh, for the single resource readings and the single uh, these things, uh, right? And the users can take the uh, linear style directly. And for the multiple stream drawings, user can take the converting style. And for multiple things, and the user can take the diverging style. Here, uh, for next, uh, here is a. Uh, uh, the higher level interface to workflow authoring we provided to users to organize steps into a, a pipeline. When the pipeline logic uh, is very simple, the users can take the pipeline pipe styles to use the pipe operators to organize the uh, the steps into uh, um, into the pipeline in a more intuitive way. And if the pipeline logic is uh, very complex, like multiple stream drawings, users can take uh, uh, the stepwise style and to end each can component into the pipeline. Uh, this is the authoring experience uh, we provided. And I will hand over the following deployment and the runtime part and to Yaman. Thanks, David. Uh, so after a future generation pipeline is authored, the next thing to do is to deploy the to production. And the question we want to answer here is what we can do to make the pipeline easier for the AI engineers to manage. So through case study, we have learned that the characteristics of feature generation pipelines are that they are easier to modularize, hence easier to be broken down into canned components, which often means they are, they are relatively simpler decks and simpler UDFs, if any. And the requirements from the AI engineers are, uh, as covered by David earlier, uh, that they want to focus on the machine learning engineering life cycle and be freed from the infrastructure complications as much as possible. So the idea we brought up here is to enable the separation of concerns by isolating user code from framework in build, deploy, and, deploy and runtime so that they can be evolved and uh, operated independently. Starting from the uh, build time isolation, we defined a protobuf uh, in IR interface for each of the in-house Beam operators we built, uh, which will be used by the compiler to translate uh, a, a user pipeline into a pipeline DAG in, pro in protobuf. And the diagram below here uh, shows an example of a virtualized pipeline composed from the protobuf IRs. This approach allows us to build the framework artifacts uh, containing uh, the framework binaries and configs uh, separately from the user artifacts containing the protobuf pipeline DAG in protobuf IR, user configs, and a minimal set of user binaries, which enables us to do de deployment 
isolation, meaning that a job uh, deployment request initiated can be initiated uh, to request a redeployment of the job for a specific framework version without having to rebuild the user artifacts. We call this feature manage the framework upgrade. Mm, and uh, the ability to upgrade the framework independently from user code will allow us to roll out the bug fixes uh, and the new features to users at a much faster pace uh, without waiting for users to upgrade the framework dependency in the user repository. Lastly, last but not least, uh, we have leveraged the Beam portability framework to achieve runtime isolation by separating the execution of user code and the framework code uh, in an application container. A runner process is to handle the framework level workloads, including runner, driver, translator, and the gRPC server, with the Pardue workloads dispatched to the UDF worker process. So runtime isolation allows us to achieve performance and fault isolation between user code and framework, meaning that we will be able to scale UDFs independently and troubleshoot UDF issues and framework issues uh, with separate logs and uh, metrics. So after uh, successfully deploying a feature generation pipeline to production, the next problem we want to solve is to minimize the operation cost for users uh, we aim to build easy to use user tools and uh, automations in the tasks that AI engineers find the most painful. So in terms of monitoring, we build a user-friendly GUI dashboard where users can gain easy access to basic information like a job status, job model, allocated resources, as well as application logs. And uh, we also, uh, uh, a dashboard of virtualized metrics is also automatically generated with metrics that can that are crucial to monitor. Alerts will be automatically sent to both the pipeline owner and the infra team when any of these metrics indicate the job may not be healthy. Here is an example page of the GUI dashboard, and here is an example page of the uh, virtualized metrics dashboard. So a common task that we uh, our users find painful is to size the job properly so that it won't run out of resources. And so therefore we will build an auto sizing system which can automatically scale up a job to avoid the resource contention or scale down the job to protect our uh, cluster. We also plan to build the auto error triage and auto remediation uh, system to help further reduce user operation cost. So to summarize what we have achieved, uh, we have improved the authoring, authoring experience so that AI engineers can easily construct the pipeline from canned components. Uh, we uh, enabled separation of concerns uh, by building, deploying, execu and executing user code and the framework separately. And uh, we build automatic uh, job sizing and automatic uh, metric dashboard generation and alerting to reduce operation cost for managing uh, feature generation pipelines. And uh, we're open to questions.